Hi, I'm Dorcas. In this video, I am going to show you how to get the hex colors from your logo. If you don't already know how to do that, well, you should. Ideally, your graphic designer has already given you the hex colors from your logo, but if for whatever reason you don't have the hex colors or you can't contact your graphic designer, or if the graphic designer is you, then this is a way to find out the hex colors from your logo. So before we get started, just to really quickly explain hex. Hex, um, it's the standard for describing colors online, just like the way you have Pantone for paint, we have hex for online. You always know a hex color because it has a hash symbol at the start, and then that's followed by six different digits, or I should say characters. Um, and um, once hex is one of those things that once you see it for the first time or once you hear about it or understand it, you start to see it um, over again. So I'll show you some really quick examples of that at the end of this video. So first of all, I'm going to show you, as I say, this in two different ways. And I am going to use a website called coolers.co, or I'm not actually sure how to pronounce it. I think it's pronounced coolers or colors. It's C O O L O R S dot C O. So I'm on this website. I haven't signed up for anything. I'm not downloading anything. I'm not paying for anything. I'm also not associated with this website. I just really like this website because it's so easy to use. So I'm going to click start the generator. Now I am going to wait for the next page to load up. And when that loads up, I click on the little um, camera icon. So you can see it here. I'm going to click on this little icon here. So I'm going to click this icon and this is where I'm going to upload my logo. So let's pretend that we work for a company called Slack and we've been asked to make a poster for their company and we have their logo, but we don't actually know the colors in the logo. So I'm uploading the logo from my own computer here in the first instance. And now you can see that there is these five different bars here. And of course my logo has appeared. So this is the super easy part. So I simply make sure that I'm clicking right in the center of, um, of one of the colors. So when I say the center, I'm, I, if I want to like know a color, I'm not going to click on the edge, for example, to know this color, I'm going to click here. Okay, so now I have this color. I'm going to click into the second one. And I'm going to click, for example, right in the center of that green. And now, next color. Now let's find out the blue. Next color. And I'm going to click into the pink and the next color and I'm going to click into the yellow. Now I'm going to click next and I'm going to click open in the generator. And as if by magic, here are all of my uh, colors from my logo. And you can see here um, the exact hex color from this purple color is 4A154B. The exact hex colors of the green is 2EB570 and so on. And that is how to get the hex colors from your logo. To make it a little bit more fancy or complicated, um, I'm going to um, show you how to get the colors from your logo. Let's say, for example, this time you don't have your logo on your own computer, but it is maybe on your website. So let's pretend that this website here is yours. Um, this is just um, a website of a company where they design kitchens and bedrooms. They're based in Dublin. So I'm going to right click and copy image address over the logo. So that copies the link of the logo. And just to show you what I'm talking about, if I then paste this into the address bar, you will see, you'll see that that's actually the exact link of that um, exact picture. So I have that link copied and now I'm going to go to the same website, colors.co. I'm gonna click on the same um, icon that we started on. So I click here, this time URL. So I click there, I paste in the link of my image, hit okay. And now you can see again, I have the same color. So this is the same as last time. So I click here in the middle for this purple. Now let's click here for the red. This time, oh, I did a mistake. So that's actually a good little tip. So I click on the purple. Now I have to click into the next color to get the reds. And there we go. And let's just pretend for the sake of this experiment that there are only two colors in this logo. Now we click next. So I just want to show you something extra fancy. So this and this, let's say, are the only two colors in your logo, just pretend. So I'm going to lock these two colors. So I'm just clicking on the little lock icon there. So now let's say, for example, I'm designing maybe a new website or we're making a new poster. So we have the two colors that are in our logo, but maybe we want some extra colors for the website, or maybe we want to um, pick a nice background for our poster that we're making. So I've locked the two colors that I have to use. And now I'm going to simply press the space bar. So I'm literally pressing the space bar on my keyboard here. Obviously, I'm on a desktop here. And each time I press the space bar, it's showing me three other colors that really nicely complement the two colors from my logo. 
And another nice little trick is you can see how I can drag this over here. So for example, I can drag it in the middle or over to the edge, maybe just to kind of more clearly see. So let's say, for example, I'm going to keep on uh, pressing the space bar um, just for the sake of showing you. Let's say I really like this color because I wanted maybe a pale color to use as the background. So I'm going to lock this color and then I can keep on pressing the space bar until I find more colors. You don't need five colors in your display, but um, you can go up as high as five colors with um, this website. So that is how to find the hex colors from your logo. And as I said at the start of the website, and as I said at the start of the video, I will show you um, some places where you will see the hex colors. So just a uh, really uh, two quick examples. First of all, I'm in a WordPress website here. You can see, for example, the mobile menu background there. I can click into the select color so I can choose the different colors like red or yellow where I can like jump around here. Or once I know the hex color, I can simply either type it out or copy and paste the color that I want. So let's just say it's this color. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in there. And now that's your hex color. Also Canva, which is a website that you may have heard of before if you're interested in hex colors, um, but it's a really nice website for making um, super um, quick uh, posters and different designs and stuff. And you can see, for example, on this text here, once I click on the text, I wanna change the color. So I click up into text color and I can either choose the color as you may have done previously, but now you're a bit more advanced. So you put in the exact hex color from your own logo or from your own um, from your own palette or whatever it is. Why is that not the right color? Um, let's paste in the right color. Oh, I have to put the hash there first and then just select it there. So now um, when you start using your hex colors from your own logo or your own branding palette, then everything just starts to look much more professional. So if you have any questions, ask in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you for watching.